Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to Sense Today. You might be wondering, wow, what is that? My name is Joy and welcome to Better and Better Living. Better and Better Living. On Saturday, we're going to be doing Sense Today. People say that common sense is not really common. You know, they hear people say, don't you have common sense? And you hear people say, oh, really? Before you say it, before you believe it, before you think it, and definitely before you text it, email it, WhatsApp it, share it, think about it. Does it really make sense? So many things we have believed, so many things we have adapted to, but does it really make sense? So welcome again, welcome again. I'm so glad for anybody out there who's going to join this session. In sense today, today we're talking sense. So my main, my, my first springboard, because I love building blocks. I love building blocks. What is my sense today? What is our sense today? It is, I'm going to talk about your essence. You know, I see a lot of people trying to find out who they are. Oh, who am I? Oh, who am I not? Oh, did, 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 did. Listen, when I, when I started this year on Sanctify Sunday, if you don't know that, catch me up on Sundays and you will get that in the word of God. We already know who you are. It's either you're male or female. The rest will work out itself as you grow, okay? But you have to be intentional with your growth also. So today we're going to talk about your essence. And I'm reading from the dictionary, Oxford Languages. It says, thank you for joining with me. The, what is your essence? Essence. It says the intrinsic nature of all indispensable quality of something, especially something abstract that determines its character, whether you're male or female, whether you're a human being or animal, something that does what? Determines your character. So I'm going to talk about evolution today. I'm going to, does it make sense? Does it make sense? Does it really make sense? They teach it in our schools. Our children come back confused. Now people are believing it too. But listen, this is what I tell people. Whoever started this that does not make sense is a human being like you, like me. That's what I told my children. I'm like, think about it. If God said, God said, I made man in my own image, but man decided, no, God, you did not make me your image. You make them like an animal because I would not say that about myself. Essence. He said, it determines your character. Any wonder when you decide you, you, you came out or evolved out of a monkey, an animal that people are not behaving like animals. And I hear people say, oh, human beings are social animals. Not me. I am not an animal. Dogs have social lives. So, oh, I have a dog. When the other dogs come around my compound barking and he backs back, he wants to go out. I say, oh, actually, you want to go meet your friends? Yeah, dogs have social life. So animals have social life. So I am not an animal number one. Who are you? Are you human or are you male? Does it make sense? Think with me. This is sense today. Uh, does it make sense today? They may have lied in the years that passed. But now, is it sensible? Does it make sense that a human being like you, like me, would decide that they are animals, that they evolved from monkeys? But listen, for those that did not want to believe, you know what Jesus did? When the blind man came to him, Jesus bent down to the ground. He took soil from the ground, molded it, <laughs> put it in his eyes. Telling us, this is how I made you in the beginning. Oh, God is so good. Telling us, taking us back to Genesis. Because when God made the animals, for those of us that don't know that, he spoke to the earth and the earth brought forth animals. 
God did not have to put his hands in soil to make the monkey, to make the hape, to make the cow, the elephant, to make all the dog, the cats, to make all these beautiful, the zebra, all these beautiful animals, hippopotamus, crocodile, hens, and cockroaches, roaches, rats, and mice. God did not have to touch the soil to make them. He spoke and the earth brought forth. The same thing he did when he said, let there be light, and there was light. He spoke the word, but when he came to man, hmm, listen, my love, you are, you are special. You are important in the faith, in the eyes of God. God went, came down, said, let us make man in our own image. He didn't just speak it, but he came down and he took the soil and he molded, he said, he made man out of the earth. The difference between the formation of the animal and the human being, he spoke and the earth brought forth. He spoke and the rivers brought forth fishes. All the fish we eat, God gave it to us. He just spoke the word. But with the human being, he came down. He said, let us make man. He didn't just say it, but he came down. He took and he made man from the earth. You are made from the earth. That's why when we die, we go back to the earth. We came from the earth, we return to the earth, and the spirit will go back to wherever you're supposed to go, whether to God or to hell fire. So remember, does it make sense that a human being like you, that is my contention, a human being like you, like you and I, will insist that you evolve from a monkey? Does it make sense? Does it make sense? So if you have any other information, if you have anything you want us to talk about that you want to say, does it make sense? Make sure to, you know, share your, share, share your does it make sense moment. Maybe something will just come up, you know, with you during the week. Share it and we will, bring, we will broadcast it here. Say, does it make sense? It's sense today. Sense today. Sense today. Welcome to sense today. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? God bless you. I'll see you another episode of Sense Today.